Okay, we're just wrapping up here at Mercedes Benz of Columbia, from Columbia, South Carolina. This was a 10 panel job with three shelves and two pieces of wall mount. And this is coming into the tool room. This shows you their shelves. Now we make them up kits. These little uh, totes we use and we make these up into kits so the guys have multiple tools in here to do that particular the timing that's a timing kit to do that on the N20. And we made one up here for the N63. This shows you their panels. This particular job was mounted to a block wall and the panels were set up 12 inch on center. We also pulled out uh, legacy tools for these guys to give them uh, room in their tool system to grow. And uh, they need any of them tools, they can go into them legacy tools. They can pull them out and then they can make a home for them on the board at that point in time. So any tools below 2000 are put in their legacy tools. And we also put up essential tools for 2010 and up. That gives you the general idea. There's two pieces of wall mount back there. We set them up here with these dog tags. All they have to do is label them. And they'll be, as a guy comes into the tool room to get a tool, he can take the dog tag and put it on where he got the tool. And uh, everybody will know who's got it. When he returns it, he can put his dog tag back up on the board. So with that, we use this shelf over here for their spring compressors. And that's about it for the room. We do have the the shelves labeled also. And, uh, let me see. Out here we have legacy tools and legacy cables and they're broke down by numbers. So we la label them legacy tools and then we break them down by numbers. Let's see if they can get in there to see them. And then would be all their legacy tools and over here are their legacy cables. So they're going to move them back into their parts room and yeah, they'll show up on their Excel spreadsheet that they have them. If they need one, they know where to go find it. Okay, with that, we worked for Greg and David over here. We met Tommy. They were a great group to work with. This is a brand new facility, just opening up. We're here on Friday. They open on Monday, so their tool room's ready to go when they get in here. And with that, we're gonna thank Tool Org for the job. And once again, if you need your, your tool room done, these are the people you contact. Tool Organization Services. There's the phone number. There's the website. And uh, they're the people to contact. Regardless of what you need to do in your tool room, they're a good uh, person to contact for consultation and to find out the best way to handle it.